measuring the axial play of a swing ring, gluing ring bearing by xcotech.org. Before any measurement takes place, it is important to check that the bolts fastening the bearing are correctly torqued and tight. Loose bolts will give incorrect recording of movement. Often the observation of the grease seal movement alarms those whom have not noticed in the past. By and large this can be discounted as to cause for concern. Using a dial test indicator with magnetic attachment is a must to establish bearing wear accurately. It is to be recommended that the both attachment and measurement points are mounted as close to the bearing as possible to avoid discrepancies. Raise the arm and boom at full reach so that the bucket is not resting on the ground surface. Normally 2 feet or 0.6 of a meter is sufficient. This will ensure that the bearing tolerance is fixed in one direction that to be measured. Stop and immobilize the machine whilst the dial test instrument is attached to the bearing. Whilst the magnet is attached to one part of the bearing, the measuring needle should be mounted to the remaining raceway. Preload the instrument to at least 5 milliliters, approximately 3 sixteenths of an inch. Start the machine. Be aware that any operation of this swing will most probably damage the measuring instrument. Lower the bucket to the ground, gently raising the undercarriage a small distance in the air. Record the movement and repeat the process a couple of times at least. As a general rule, a swing ring that remains in within the 3 mm can be considered as serviceable, however, the manufacturers can normally provide where limits excessive movement should involve further checks made at 90 degree rotation points. Bearings require some play is asked to give free movement, the measurement of zero is extremely unlikely. Bearing and manufacturers will have manufacturing tolerance which may well vary from one bearing to the next. Failure of swing ring bearings are often preceded by swing gearbox failure. The bearing with excessive movement will overload the swing drive gearbox. Other likely causes of failure can be lack of grease. Ingress of water. Striking a power cable. Careless placement of welding leads. Overload of the bearing A typical example is that of an excavator that has been strapped to a barge and used to excavate in rough waters.